Lord, everyone, welcome to Inspired Life Ministries. Welcome. Praise the Lord. Yes. This is Pastor Kofi Bryant Sr. My husband and I am Lachelle Bryant, his wife. Yes. <laughs> and we yes. passed the Inspired Life Ministries. We are so glad that you could join us on today. Amen. Today marks a very, very important day in the life of a Christian believer. Yeah. It is known as Good Friday. And on Good Friday, we have our Lord and Savior went to the cross for our needs, for our wants, yeah. for our desires, and for our very salvation of our lives. Amen. And so within his time frame on the cross, we've been examining seven phrases that he said prior to allowing himself to be crucified. Yeah. And marvelous, may I add, all of the people of God and all of the preachers of God who have enlightened us, all yeah. of us, on the last seven sayings of Jesus Christ. It has been a marvelous encounter of information. But in this particular session, we are going to be dealing with the primary last, that is, not primary, but the last saying while he was on that cross. Amen? Yeah. And so if you would please do us the beauty of turning to Luke chapter 23. And as you get that, we're going to get there. We're going to begin reading at Hallelujah. verse number 46. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes. Pastor, thank you and so you much. And you want to just read that one verse? The, yes, the okay. one entire verse. Amen. And so this is taken from the book of Luke, the New Testament, chapter 23, verse 46. Mm -hmm. And the word of God reads, And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, mm -hmm. he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit and having said thus he gave up the ghost mm, mm. and in another Hallelujah. translation it says i commit my spirit yes amen i commit my spirit jesus was committed unto death he, yes, was, he was obedient unto death yes that's amazing because if half of us knew that we were going to expire yeah. we would change the course of actions but jesus knowing all we found in all of the saints, we found that he was brutally beaten. Yeah. We found that he was maimed. We found that he was spat upon. We found that he had a crown of heads, a crown of thorns mm -hmm. placed mm -hmm. upon his head. Yes. And we find that he endured all of that while on the cross, and he was suffocating on the cross. And while suffocating on the cross, he said seven saints, seven important, enlightening saints. And I say to you, it reminds me. This is, let me say it this way. This is saying number seven. And saying number seven puts me in remembrance of saying number five. Amen. And John chapter 19, 28, Jesus knew that by everything, or by now, rather, everything had been completed. Complete. Yes. In order to make the scriptures come true. He said, I thirst, yeah. or I'm thirsty. See, what Jesus knew in the beginning, that is, at the very accusation that he is the king of Jews, he knew what was going to happen all the way to this particular saying, which is, I commit my spirit yes, unto you, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. See, I believe that he understood everything about what was supposed to take place. Yes, yes. And here we have, he's been sitting on the cross for hours. And his body's beaten and thoroughly misused. And he says, I thirst. And right after that, he says, you know what? Now that I have said, I thirst. And now that they have given me drink by bitter gall vinegar. and wine. Or vinegar, bitter vinegar, vinegar rather. Mm -hmm. Now that that has taken place, it literally is finished. Saying number six, in which Pastor Shelley illustrated so beautifully, it is finished. It is finished. And after saying it is finished, the Bible says, unto you I commit my spirit. So I want to examine briefly before we conclude, what is this word commit? The word commit means to transfer something. Two, it means to consign or record 
for preservation. Yeah, yeah. So Jesus transferred his spirit to God, back to the Father. Hallelujah. He put it in consigned, or he consigned it, or it recorded it for the preservation with God, the Father. Hallelujah. The third definition is to put into place for disposal or safe, safe keeping. keeping. Yes. And so it, Jesus committed, put his spirit, gave it to God for what? Safe keeping. Hallelujah. Wow. See, Jesus aimed at obedience the whole time he was on that yes, cross. He did. And so connecting with statement number two. You will live with me in paradise. Today, John 10, 18. Yes. I want to lay it down like this. John 8, 10, 18 says, No one can take my life from me. Hallelujah. I sacrifice it voluntarily, for I have the authority to lay it down Hallelujah. when I want and to also take, take it, it up, up again. again. Yes. For this is what my Father has commended. Hallelujah. And so what that brings me to is a recollection of Number two, when he told the thieves on the cross, today you will live with me in paradise. Yeah, that Amen. One thief, yes. That one thief. Today you will live with me in paradise. So what was Jesus saying? Today I go with my father Hallelujah. in paradise. I commit my spirit back unto him. For he is having it in safekeeping. Glory. He is preserving my spirit Hallelujah. until the day of redemption of the world. Thank and you, so Lord I God. ask you, what will you commit? Will you commit and transfer? That is, transfer to God your body. Will you transfer to God your mind and your spirit? And will you give it to Jesus for safekeeping? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, in this season, I encourage you, you to Lord. be encouraged. Amen. To commit Amen. your ways unto the Lord yes. and be encouraged. We love you, but more Amen. importantly, God, God loves, loves you. you.